All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Sir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay. I want to go in this lesson on, you know, telling these women, you know, about the truth. You know, the, the a chick that, you know, you may be interested in. Okay. And she don't know nothing about the truth. Um, that's pretty much opening up Pandora's box, man, you know, and, uh, pretty much Pandora's box, okay, it says a process that generates many complicated problems is the result of unwise interference in something, okay, you know, and, and, the the apostles, you know, they always say, hey, you don't have to, to, to teach, you know, these women, you know, just, you know, deal with them, you know, accordingly. And with dealing with these women accordingly, one of the, the, the main things with dealing with them is you have to get rid of that gray area, okay? Which that gray area is that uncertainty when dealing with these women, because a lot of these women, you know, just putting it on the table, you know, a lot of these women in the world, you know, they, they bring confusion. And, you know, from, from off of how they portray things, you know, they, they try to use the their vagina to get things out of men, you know, and... um you know, for example, they'll say, well, you know, if you want to deal with me or if you want to have sex, you got to, you know, pay for my phone bill or something like that. And, um, you know, that's pretty much the same as, uh, you know, she's selling her, her, her uh, box, you know, but they they, they think that it's, uh, it's, it's a difference, you know, between actually uh, having sex for money compared to using your their pussy okay for for lack of a better word vagina you know uh for sex you know and then after you have sex with these women you still left in that okay what are we now until they sit up there and continue to to try to rule over you and and guys who are uh simps okay they do that type of thing man now in this truth you have, you know, a girl that you may, you know, be feeling, you know, but then as soon as you you talk to them or whatever, because, you know, a lot of these women, they, they just like talking about, like, drama and bullshit like that. You know, when you actually talk to them, you see that <laughs> that the, the, the conversation goes into vanity, you know? It's not really that much you can really talk to them about, you know, because they're not interested in the things that we're interested in as far as the truth, you know, and and things can can be going extremely well between you and a woman, you know, but as soon as you mention something about the truth or you try to bring out a scripture or you try to break down anything, even even towards a woman that believes in the Bible, you're you're opening up Pandora's box. And once again, what do Pandora's box mean? It says a process that generates many complicated problems is the result of unwise interference and in something. Okay? Now I want to go into the etymology of Pandora. Okay, it says Pandora's box refers to her gift from Zeus, which this is a uh, Greek mythology. Okay, I'm just using this as a, uh, you know, example of of teaching. It says which was foolishly opened by Epimetheus or whatever, upon which all the contents escaped. They were said to be the host of human ills, escaping to afflict mankind. Okay, you 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 you're, you're you're doing good until you sit up there and you mention the scriptures, you know, to her, 
you know, that the, 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 the gift of understanding of the scriptures was given to us through Yahweh Pa'asim Yahweh okay? Not no Zeus, not no other uh, power, okay? Which those Ro Roman gods, Greek gods, all these, they're not power, man, okay? But our power, you know, Yahweh Pa'asim Yahweh gave us the understanding, okay, as men to what the Bible actually says, okay? And trying to... Uh, Trying to teach these women, you know, uh, the Bible, you know, which, you know, you, 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 you can, if your woman, you know, knows the truth and everything like that, but trying to wake up every sister that you, you know, that, that comes along, you know, that's not scriptural, okay, and, and you're, you're going against the grain, so to say, okay, uh, Job 39 and 17, because God, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh has deprived her of wisdom, okay, and we know through the scriptures how how to get that wisdom, okay. What what is wisdom? You know, it says neither hath he imparted to her understanding, okay. Now I want to try to get the King James apocrypha because the scripture just popped up in my uh my mind okay i believe it's in the eighth chapter okay was the this woman is supposed to be you know you, the uh the truth you know wisdom is supposed to be our women man you know but uh the the scripture that i was looking for where it talks about uh, righteousness, you know, the ones who, oh, here we go, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 7, and if a man love righteousness, her labors are virtues, for she, she teaches temperance, prudence, justice, and fortitude, which are such things, as men can have nothing more profitable in their life if a, if a man desire experience, he knows things of old, and con conjureth a right what is to come, she knows the subtilities of speeches. Okay? Now, one of the, 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 the subtilities of speeches, okay, which we're supposed to be uh, sub, sub, subtle, okay, which, you, you in this truth, you're supposed to know you know, uh, when a person is lying, okay, and you, you know, you need to, to, to be able to, um, to, 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 you know, know when to, to, to speak and say things, and when not to, you know, speak and say things, okay, this, which goes to, uh, it goes back to, uh, being wise, okay, now, uh, the word, uh, subtle, okay, it goes back to, uh, uh, elusive, cunning, crafty, okay, discerning, okay, so one thing that we supposed to do is use discernment, you know, when dealing with these women, if that's what you want to do, if you want to deal with these women, you have to be able to use discernment, okay, when, when, when talking to these, to the women, okay, it says, and can, can expound dark sentences, she, she foresees signs and wonders and even, I mean, and the events of season and times, okay? Now, going back to the lesson, okay, of Pandora, okay, the etymology said, uh, you know, once they was open, you know, all the human ills was, you know, placed upon mankind, but in this case, you know, once you open up that Pandora's box, you know, that relationship that you you have with that woman is really not the same anymore, okay? And, uh, hey, <laughs> telling, telling women that we're in Great Millstone and stuff like that, as soon as they, they hear the, the word Great Millstone, you know, like, I'm going to just do a test right now, you know, to see what, what pops up. But when you type in Great Millstone... 
what pops up, you know. It's probably scoffer, scoffer videos, you know. All type of, you know, uh, you got Great Millstone versus the Bible, you know, from IUIC. You got these other groups, you know, scoffers just, you know, they pop up, okay. And uh, these, these people, you know, they know how to word these, uh, these videos, man, okay, to, uh, to, 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 when people type in Great Millstone, you know, the scoffer videos pop up, you know, like addressing the hypocri hypocritical exposure of Great Millstone, and a woman ain't gonna go, go click on a video, you know, like from Apostle Gabar, Faith, 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 you know, they're going to go into these videos like hypocritical exposure of, of Great Millstone. You know, from these scoffers and stuff. You know? Which Satan Satan is the one who, who ultimately leads these women, you know, to to where where they are. You know? Now, if, you know, the, your woman finds out and, and uh, you know, she, uh, you know, doesn't want to deal with you no more. Hey, you, you know... You got to go with what the scriptures say, you know, because, you know, these women are pretty much, uh, you know, unbelievers, okay, so I'm going to get this scripture, okay, it said, it's 1 Corinthians 7 and 15, but if the unbelieving depart, let him depart, a brother or a sister is not under bondage in such cases, but Yahweh some you is called us to peace, you know. Which you might have felt like you was at peace or whatever, you know, in the beginning, you know. But as soon as you 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 tell them about the truth, you know, and they a lot of them want to depart, man. They, you know, that and that shows that, you know, they 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 really wasn't down for you, man. You know, a uh, 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 simp would would uh would get caught up, you know, more 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 so than uh than a a, a man that uh. That isn't a simp, okay? Uh, it says, all the blessings of God escaping to be lost, because you might have felt as though that this woman, you know, was a, 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 a blessing from the Most High, Yahweh, but then it, but then it uh, gets lost, you know, because you opened up your mouth and you told this woman about, you know, the truth, okay? But continuing on the lesson, okay, Micah 7 and 5, it says, trust ye not in a friend, put ye not confidence in a God, and keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lies in thy bosom. You know, so you don't have to tell a woman everything, man, and it's truth, man. You know? Yeah, you, you really don't, man. You know, if you've been with your woman uh, for a couple years or whatever, you know, you, you see that she, she uh, sticking by you and everything, then yeah, it's okay. You know, you might, you might... You know, she'll pick up on your lingo and everything like that, you know, but but at the end of the day, you're still not supposed to put all of your, your trust in, in talking to her about any and everything, you know. Um, when you when you look at it, you know, uh, a woman that you that you that you've been with for 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 a little bit, you know, like I said, she's going to she's going to start uh, learning from you. You know, she's going to be more into you, man. You know? But in, 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 in these cases, when you first start talking to a female, you know, most, most of the times that, you know, in the beginning, you, you know, you don't want to just let it all be known like, yeah, I'm, a, I'm an Israelite. I'm from the tribe of Judah. You know, you are, you are too. You know? With some people, you know, they do that. You know, the truth is the truth. You know, but, but the, the thing is, you have to be more wise, man. You know, so uh, I'm gonna get this scripture, okay? Uh, this is Judges 16, and um, I'm gonna start at uh, 3. It says, And Samson lay till midnight and arose at midnight and took the doors of the gate of the city and the two posts and went away with them, bar and all. And put them upon his soldiers and carried them up to the top of an hill that is before Hebron. And it came to pass afterward that he loved the woman in the valley of Sorak, whose name was Delilah. And the Lord of the Philistines came up 
unto her and said unto her, Entice him, and see where in his great strength it lieth, and by what means we may prevail against him, that we may bind him to afflict him, and we will give thee every one of us eleven hundred pieces of silver. Okay, and a lot of women, man, they got that intuition. Whereas though, you know, they'll they'll try to uh entice you, okay? Which once again that I brought out that that uh that scripture about uh you know uh the the understand the the, subti the subtility of speeches you know or speeches you know which a lot of these women will try to allure you they'll try to deceive you okay uh they'll try to uh, flatter you okay or persuade you to tell tell them uh your your uh you know what what um what your secrets are man okay the the hebrew word for uh for uh entice is patha okay so samson was a, a strong man you know he had strength okay it says um and delilah said to samson tell me i pray thee wherein thy great strength lieth and where what thou mightest be bound to afflict thee okay and samson said unto her if they buy me with seven greens, I mean, with seven green whips that were never dried, then shall I be weak and be as other men. Then the Lord of the Philistines brought her up to seven green whips, I mean, brought up to her seven green whips, which had not been dried, and she bound him with them. Now there were men lying in wait, abiding with her in, in the chamber, and she said unto them, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he broke the whips. Is a thread of tow is broken when it is when it touches the fire, so it, so his strength was not known, you know. So so these women are try to set you up, man, you know. Nowadays you try to tell them, you know, uh, the, the the truth, you know, and they'll you know try to try to get uh you know other people to to, to look at you in a whole total different way, man, you know. Oh, that's that's one of the Israelite boys, or you know, or that he's a great millstone. You know, don't don't bring him around your children, and you know, all this, all this this crazy confusion, man. That you know, technically we didn't we didn't we just teach the Bible, man. You know, a lot of people like to sit up there and say that you know we're in a cult, which you know they don't understand what the word cult means. Okay, but how can we? You know, in their terms, how can we be in a cult if we're teaching what the Bible says correctly, man? Okay? And a lot of people at the end of the day, you know, they're not mad at us, man. They're mad at, at the Lord, man. Okay? Because the Lord is the one who who who, who, who uh, sanctioned everything, man. Okay? Um, it says, uh, and Samson said unto her, O Salakia, it says, uh, and Delilah, Delilah said unto Samson, Behold, thou hast mocked me and told me lies. Now tell me, I pray thee, wherewith thou mightest be bound. Okay, and, and man, clearly Samson wasn't wasn't being wise, man, because, you know, she, she tried to tie him up, and, and these guys came in and tried to, you know, deal with him. But, you know, he still, uh, he still, uh, was was talking to her, man. You know, in this society, once you once a woman tells you, you know, uh, tell me what's this, and then you tell her, and then she goes against what you what you say. You know, you should know, like, man, this chick don't 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 got uh, my best interest, man. Okay, it says, and he said unto her, if they bind me with with uh, if they bind me fast with new ropes that never were occupied, then shall I be weak and be as other men. Delilah, ther therefore took new ropes and bound him there whoop and said unto him the Philistines be upon thee Samson and there were there were liars and wait abiding in the chamber and he broke them from off his arms like a thread and Delilah said unto Samson hitherto thou hast uh, hast mocked me and told me lies tell me where what thou mightest be bound and he said unto her if thou weavest the seven locks in my head of my head with the web and she fastened it with a pen, with a, with the pen and said unto him, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he had waked out of his sleep 
and went away with the pen of the beam and with the web. And she said unto him, How can thou say, I love thee, when thine heart is not with me? Thou hast mocked me th these three times and hast not told me wherein thy great strength lies. You know, and, and at, hey man, at this point, you know, this, this, this is a story, man. You know, y'all, this is, this is, this really happened, man. You know, because a lot of people will look at this, uh, this, this, uh, Bible verse or the Bible in, in period, you know, and they'll look at it and think that, you know, the, all these are just, you know, myths and, you know, somebody just randomly made these stories up in their head. You know, no, man, these actually exist, man. And, and, and when you read these, you know, you're supposed to, you're supposed to, you know, envision it, man. And he told this woman, you know, this three times and she ended up, uh, you know, he ended up falling for it, man. You know, with, like I said, in today's day, man, you, you're not supposed to tell your, your woman what your strength is, man. You know, no matter how much you love her, Okay. It says, and it came to pass when she pressed him daily with the word, with her words, and urged him, so that his soul was vexed unto death. Okay, and that's another scripture. Okay, let me get this scripture. Okay, uh, Ecclesiastes. Uh, I believe it's the seventh chapter, and uh, the twenty-sixth verse. And I find more bitter than than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets. And and like I said, man, that, that goes into that gray area, man. You know, a lot of these women like to try to use that vagina that they have in order to try to get what they got out of you, okay? And, you know, their mindset is to just sit up there and think that they got you, you know? In this society... Women are way more wicked than than they were uh, in the Bible, man, or in, in history, man. Okay? The 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 women of today, you know, they, they use so many uh, schemes and plans to try to get over on the next man that if you're not using wisdom, you're going to get uh, overtaken, man. You know? The scriptures say that, you know, uh, a wicked woman, you know, shall be given unto a wicked man, man. You know, it says, uh, Whoso pleaseth Yahweh some outside shall escape her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. You know, so so a man who, who is a sinner, which in this world, you know, a lot of these niggas like to go out of their way to try to please these women, you know, they get they get taken over by that by that by that woman, man, because they, they're not dealing with wisdom, you know. And in this truth, you know, if you're not if you're not uh dealing with you know wisdom you tell the woman uh your truth man that woman end up putting you to death man like you know we're about to read in this uh scripture with uh uh, uh samson okay so it says that so that his soul was vexed unto death you know it says uh that he told her all his heart okay he poured out everything man you know like that scripture it says keep you know, keep the doors of thy mouth from the, from her that lies in thy bosom. Okay, it says, uh, if if he told her all her heart and said unto her, there has not come a razor upon my head, for I have been a Nazarite unto Yahweh Shmuel from my birth, or from Yahweh, you know, the Most High. Okay, it says, if I be saving, then my strength will go from me. And I shall become weak and be like any other men. And when Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart, she sent and called for the Lord of the Philistines, saying, Come up come up this once, for he have sold me all his heart. Then the Lord said the Lord of the Philistines came up onto her and brought money in their hand, and she made him sleep under her knees. And when she called for a man, and she caused them to save off the seven locks of his head, and she began to afflict him, and his strength went from him. Man, because he told her this strength, man. You know? And it's fucked up, man, because, you know, these women would, 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 would trade on, on us, man, at the drop of a dime, man. You know? You tell them about this truth, man. They'll, they'll go to Esau, 
you know, and 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 that's that's potentially uh, hazardous, man. You know, to to your well being. You know, so in this story, you know, Delilah, you know, this woman who who Samson, you know, loved, she traded on him, man. You know, she she didn't love him. Okay. Uh, continuing on, Proverbs thirty one and three. It says, give not thy strength unto women, which are, you know, this word, this truth is our strength, man, you know, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings, okay, and we're on the path to, to being kings, man, okay, and I don't say no queens, because when you go into the word queen, you know, it, you should know that it means harlot, man, you know, but Proverbs 21 and 23, it says, whoso keepeth his mouth and his tongue keeps his soul from troubles, you know, and, and that's what we have to do, man, keep our mouth and our tongue, man, you know, because, you know, opening up Pandora's box, you know, that's, that's when, you know, everything just, just gets messed up, man, and you don't want to, you don't want to do that, man, okay, so with that, you know, hopefully this was edifying, I want to say salawam till next time.